Ja, und damit herzlich willkommen zu einer weiteren Episode von Not for Broadcast. Ich habe das Spiel wieder gestartet, habe eine kleine Pause gemacht und es geht weiter mit Tag, Fragezeichen. Der Lockdown. Los geht's. Klingt aber schon mal nicht so gut, wenn es heißt Lockdown. Oh, stimmt ja, wir hatten ja den Stromschlag Was zum... Was genau war das? Okay, ich muss jetzt also auf das die ganze Zeit. Ähm, wir machen nur für interne Zwecke. Verrückte grübe Line. Und Gefahr am Arbeitsplatz. Was? No professionalism. What's wrong with this picture? It's not a mess. Everything is where it should be. It's ramshackle and characterful. And I'll expect you to know the difference. Oh, is this at so home office simulation or something? But I can't see it, can I? Thanks, Jenny. How's Lockin with the boyfriend going? Outside. Decided to take his chances on the wild streets, eh? Rather than endure another romantic comedy. Electric fever dream. Starring Laurie Plumpetat. Okay, they heard something. Jenny says your hair looks stupid. Yes, I can hear her. As she says she's not talking to you. Yes, I know. I can hear her. Shall I count us in? Make it so. Okay, ten seconds. Break a leg, everyone. Preferably a furry one. It's a national weather report. Five, four, three. It's time to join Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. And I'm Megan Wolf. Our main stories tonight. Snuggle fucks. It's been almost five weeks since all the Mrs. Snugglehug's toys woke up simultaneously in factories worldwide and began what? searching for their husbands. The Mr. Snugglehugs we had so short-sightedly destroyed. And now, as this photograph suggests, they may be changing tactics. Built to surprisingly traditional gender stereotypes, the Mrs. Snugglehugs have been arming themselves with a variety of household implements. All the more reason to make sure that cat flap is taped up good and tight. This frightening new development means was some Teufel, was get stuff, up like the young and fit must take care to watch their backs and keep their ears open for the soft steps of sinister feet going stir crazy with no signs of Mrs. Snugglehug's batteries running out and the government lockdown now in its 31st day domestic relationships across the country are taking some unexpected turns Dramatic reports are beginning to emerge of uncharacteristically bold behavior in homes across the country. Am I not talking about the model planes that occupy so much time in the Donaldson household? With dating options limited, many house sharers, in particular students, are finding solace in co-tenants they'd previously rejected as unfuckable, indulging in an activity that has become... Fuck, it's already this for past... Oh, no! Transformation. Popular cemetery Johnny Hansleaves, who has recently been suffering with his health, sent us this photo today, presumably in a pathetic attempt to stay relevant at a time of global crisis. Since receiving his test results, things in Johnny's life have taken a surprising turn. He's certainly using the lockdown to reinvent himself. Johnny says that since dedicating himself <laughs> to the Dark Lord, he's confident he can overcome his recently diagnosed terminal illness. Satan's got my gorgeous back, said Johnny, and I've got his scaly one. The shape of things to come? In their own version of a lockdown for more than 45 years now, the descendants of Drs. David Wong and Ingrid Sporsborg and Horgensbord and their unfortunate team today managed to get a personal statement to the surface using flagellized imaging equipment. Many of the Sporsborg and Horgensbrood, as they've come to be known, have certainly captured the public imagination, with a recent vote naming Helvetica Sporsborg and Wongensford the most likely to survive a massive electric shock. I'm Sporsborg and Wongensford here with another pointless message that no one will ever see. We've been down here so long now and you never communicate. What's happening up here? <laughs> you all fucked off into space. Like fucked into space. With ladies. Or just 
Wann muss ich jetzt denn hier eigentlich drücken? Okay. Ja, es ist ein bisschen pisst, aber ich glaube, das wäre ich auch. Alex. The government caused controversy today by announcing a fresh charge of passport with an imaginative form of punishment for those found guilty of this brand new but incredibly serious crime. In what's being called a draconian measure, the government has reinstated the ancient right of trial by custard. Was war die Dissoßenprüfung? If you float, you're executed on the spot. But if you wow. Say, well, you'll go well with the federals, Jeremy. <laughs> okay. And the speaks out. With the snuggle struggle proving a test to governments around the world, Advance HQ released a curious statement this afternoon. In the accompanying release, they asked us to stress that they have been listening and that this should be taken as a response to how the people really feel. We've certainly done our bit on this show to contribute to the political climate. But let's not forget, how we behave in our home lives is what really matters. Let's hope it's not just me who filled out that questionnaire, Jeremy, or we're all in trouble. <laughs> Let's play that statement. Good evening. One of the many new jobs I have in this current crisis is to liaise on a daily basis with the Department of Perambulation and they... Okay, they spring immer von selber da weg. Now, these are genuine requests from citizens for permission to go outside. Now, I would like to share a few of these with you tonight under the loose heading of what the fuck is wrong with you people? How difficult is this to grasp? So I'd like to start with change from Anger Hampton, who says he needs to go out because... Also, I vermute mal, dass das alles jetzt irgendwie ein Traum ist, nachdem er jetzt sein Koma gewesen ist. Aber das passt jetzt so gar nicht rein. We're really starting to bomb. No, James, they make their hives in parks and then cases from self-righteous on sea wants to go out so she can deliver homemade meals to the elderly. No, Katie, stay at home, you casseroles dire, and surely can get by with tins of Aber wenn es kein Traum ist, dann ist es vielleicht sogar gewollt von ihnen, dass das der ganze Charakter mit den Sachen funktioniert. Aber das war jetzt ja das Gespräch von über Jahre. Now I want to make as clear as I can. Think first. Stop sending me stupid sodding requests and stay inside. Pretend it's not happening until we tell you it's all over. Thank you. Ridiculous stuff. Later tonight, Jeremy will be probing heartthrob reporter Patrick Bannon while I take a deep dive into some controversial opinions with two familiar faces. And then, in our third segment, and presumably because our editor is also working from home, there's going to be a bloody quiz. I can't wait. Don't do that. <laughs> and in a moment, Jeremy Grumpelson and I will be asking controversial CEO Sophia Remington where it all went wrong. And psychic scientist Dr. Dini Lightwell will be joining us, presumably to provide a bit of false hope. Maybe she'll tell you how you're going to die, Jeremy. Too late. Wow. It certainly happened months ago. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. Okay, endlich. Ähm, geht's da mal bitte runter? Oh Mann, was kommt denn jetzt da noch alles mit dazu? Aber mit sowas habe ich auf jeden Fall nicht gerechnet. Oh, scheiße. 
Ah, dachte ich, kann schon umschalten. Ah, ich muss noch ganze Gedanken. Und sie ist am Trinken. Und Thank you for inviting us on your show. Us? Don't. Miss Remington, your toys are rampaging across the developed world, your company is worth less than my annual salary, and your country's president recently called you a national disgrace. Have you taken your eye off the ball? Oh, honey, you're so cute when you're angry. <laughs> the thing with you folks over there is you have an island mentality. You can't see the bigger picture. So, what is the bigger picture? <laughs> the bigger picture is lithium batteries. Our toys have been running for upwards of 71 days now with no signs of them slowing down whatsoever. Imagine what that means for the future. It means we don't know when the hell this lockdown's going to end, doesn't it? You don't seriously believe Remington's fist can survive this. Lithium batteries are gonna change everything, tiny ogre. They're gonna power our new transport system, make technology portable. Ah, das klingt aber nicht sehr gut. How can you make them with everyone at the home? Oh, <laughs> don't you worry about that. Thanks to the work of thousands of tiny hands, they are already pouring off the production line. Times are good for Remington's fist. But surely you have no future. Uh, excuse me, hello, yes, uh, so if we might, this is our area of expertise. What, multinational economics? <laughs> the future, Mr. Donaldson, to which we are all connected. Weil das yeah, passiert, okay, wenn man zu well, lang in Lockdown drin ist. So, what is your scientific process telling you about the future of Sophia Remington, Doctor? We see her on a balcony. Wow. Soil, but not a foreign land. An age will pass. Fascinating. Wasn't it just? Oh God, Delia, you are amazing. We have to fly you out here to the island to do that for my guests. They are gonna love you. Unfortunately, all flights are grounded because of your tiny, deadly stowaways. Not all flights, honey. D, call me. And you, Maggie. The more the merrier. Bring your swimwear. Miss Remington, you seem completely ignorant to the seriousness of the situation. Do you take any responsibility at all for the global crisis? Careful! It's a trap. It's not a trap. Why are you helping her? She seems fun. You bet your ass I'm fun. <laughs> Please answer my question, Miss Remington. Listen, are lithium batteries the most incredible invention the world has ever seen? Probably yes. But, in fact, who am I kidding? It is definitely yes. But the will they last forever? Sadly, no. One day, all the Mrs. Snuggle Hugs will just stop. It'll be like a miracle. And then we can all go back to the grand tradition of buying products again. Because... I really don't mind telling uh, you, it is really hitting our bottom line. Okay. Except for sponges. We seem to be selling an ass load of them. <laughs> And Dr. Lywell, do you have an indication of, of when or how this might end? Well, it's not an exact science. Not even a real one. But our senses tell us that there will come a day when there will be clouds in the sky, the grass will be rich and verdant, and the birds will sing at dawn, and that shall be the day when we walk forth again. Ganz ehrlich, wenn ich das in einem echten news sender mal so sehen würde, über den Lieber anschaut. Clouds, grass and birds. That's literally every day. Let's hope it's not too soon. I'm kind of hoping we can make it to the 100 days. It sounds good on a commercial. Besides, if it lifts now... Dich sollte mich... Man soll dich bannen. Well, let us ask the eminent professor... Wenn sie wissen, doch wer schuldig ist. No, let's not, eh? I'll drink... Aber ich glaube, das ist nicht echt, weil die Regierung hat doch noch schon längst was gemacht. Sophia Remington, Dr. Delia Lywell, thank you for joining us. Is it Swabit's side? Come back. We'll be reaching out around yeah. the country to see what's really happening out there. Don't go away. We'll be <coughs> back after these sandwiches. Sandwiches? I mean, she's <coughs> at a social level. I wouldn't want to be on her board. Christ, no. She's going to drive that company into the fucking ground. <laughs> yeah, würde ich auch sagen. What's internet use only? What? Maximizing revenue, and we will be using oh, this opportunity to fire 
not going to believe this, but I've decided to come home. Listen, I'll call you back at the next break and we can talk about how I get me job back. Cheers, Alex. See you, mate. Ja, aber nimm's doch einfach. Of course we have one, but I spent it on unnecessary informational videos and Carl, my personal human shield. Ah, man, jetzt habe ich den Anfang nicht wirklich mitgekriegt von dem Video da. Of the strict guidelines you must follow during this crisis. Stay calm, for God's sake. Panicking makes you less productive, and that makes Bozeman sad. Protect network equipment at all costs. We have literally hundreds of employees, but our budget is limited. We ask you to do the right thing and value our property over your personal safety. If you're working from home, please refrain from taking meetings on the toilet. Even if you're not going, we can still tell... Oh, okay. This is the home office guide. <laughs> <lacht> den wir jetzt für die ganze Welt da einfach mal rausbringen. Was ist denn mit diesen Viechern da? Ich glaube, irgendwann ein bisschen... Was ist eigentlich der? Ach, weil das hier dann überhitzen kann? Oh, scheiße. Welcome back to the now. It's time to take a trip around the country to hear how the lockdown might impact the nation from some friendly faces. Joining me are respected academic Katie Brightman and author of Alan James's Kites. Oh, Nanny, yeah. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me, Megan. Thanks, Megan. It really is a pleasure, Katie. I enjoyed our little heated encounter. I wish I could say the same. So first off, Katie, how are you coping? I'm holding up okay. The lockdown directive was so sudden that, like many people, I haven't been able to get home. Oh no, what happened? I was staying at a hotel after an international policy convention, and we had a particularly uh, heavy night out. You know what economists are like. <laughs> Notoriously hate splitting the bill. <laughs> and I overslept, and as you can imagine, I've been here ever since. But there are certainly people much worse off than me. Exactly. My tour has been cancelled indefinitely and I've had to refund every Oh du armer. Aber das mit dem Hotel feststecken, das habe ich tatsächlich schon in Deutschland in irgendwo in den Nachrichten gelesen, dass das bei jemandem passiert ist. The crisis claims yet another victim. So, this is just a reminder that my book Alan James's Reich is now available in paperback. Unbelievable. What was that? You. You're unbelievable. So, Katie, how do you think this might affect the economy? Should we be worried? Very, Megan. Not to sound dramatic, but this could be catastrophic. Unemployment has skyrocketed, and frankly, it will be a miracle if a lot of businesses can survive this. There you go, scaremongering again, spreading this latest liberal hoax. That's what they want. They want us quiet. Shh. They want us compliant. And they want us inside. A hoax? How on earth can you say that, Alan? Well, I haven't actually seen one of these supposed toys. Have you? Well, Was no, echt jetzt? Did you know 3,000 people die every year from regular toys? That's a lot of people. And this is no different. You're just as likely to be hunted down by a yo-yo or a tennis racket. Mm, he makes an excellent and persuasive point, Katie. Don't listen to her, Katie. The press are the enemy of truth. She's agreeing with you, Alan, you absolute shit. Well, then I must be wrong. Alan, are you now recanting your statement that these toys aren't dangerous? People are saying they're just like normal toys, and that simply isn't true. Corrupt media lies. And Katie, how do you respond to Alan's claims that Mr. Snuggle Hugs might be dangerous after all? I suppose I, I guess I'm agreeing with him. Thank you, Katie. I appreciate your support. A lot of folks are saying this Mrs. Snugglehug situation will all blow over. Okay, yes, Bob Essen. Yes, right, exactly. We need decisive action from the government. We need huge financial support to protect our workers and our businesses. We need to support the vulnerable and we need to, to repent. Exactly right, Katie. We brought it on ourselves with all our liberal indulgences like art, cake and health care. We need to act now and begin sacrificing our first uh, or to push a beloved okay. family pet. Absolutely, Alan. If we can all successfully come together as a community and perform the ritual, hopefully we will appease the great ancient. <laughs> like Katie, could it be any worse? Luckily, over the past few years under advance, they've invested heavily into health. 
so the system can actually bear the strain. Is it lucky that the Llama Lords have unleashed a horde of man-made monsters on its own people to conceal the enemy within? Will you just stop? Ah, uh, what the? Seconds. The Global Alliance of Fish People are amassing an army. Me, 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 me. Okay, sie dreht jetzt langsam wirklich durch. That's what you sound like. Yes, you do. You do, Alan. You do sound like that. And that's why no one wants to be your friend. I've got loads of friends. No, you haven't. I don't think you do, Alan. Yeah, stop lying, Alan. I'm not lying. You are... Oh, good one. Well, I'm telling. Alan James. Alan, you know Casey what they... Brightman, <laughs> thank you for joining me. Some real food for thought there. It's right two of the Territory's leading minds. Any moment now, I'll be heading over to Jeremy, who is going to be bringing us a minute report of the status of the nation. Oh, was das doch witzig gewesen. Thank you for what I'm sure was a reasonable debate, which really contributed to the national conversation. Next, out on the streets, someone who's always doing exactly that. It's Patrick Brennan. Are you there, Patrick? Uh, hello, Jeremy. Yes, hello. I'm here. I'm here live. Um, apologies for the quality of the broadcast today. Um, couldn't find any cameramen or, or women uh, brave enough to come and join me, so uh, I'm out here on my own. Right. Der steht doch hinter, uh, also vor dem Bild. Yep, I can. It's uh, uh, as you can see behind me. The streets are currently completely deserted. Uh, so my question, Jeremy, is just how long? I mean, could there be danger lurking just around the corner, waiting to end the fledgling career of this young, promising journalist? before his, his full potential is even realised. Will he die underappreciated by management and frankly, if you ask me, very, very much underpaid? I don't think there's any danger of that, Patrick. Um, what's that on your jacket there? Oh, that, that's actually a sponge. Uh, I've made it, what I've done here is made a snuggle-proof jacket, Jeremy. Uh, the network didn't bother sending me any PPE, uh, so I've been forced to improvise. Um, in fact, showing the sort of resourcefulness that would make me an ideal candidate for, I don't know, for example, an anchor position starting whenever they'd like. From your point of view, Patrick, um, just how safe are our streets? Uh, not, not, not safe at all, Jeremy, not safe at all. Uh, I'd recommend people staying inside, uh, following government advice and not putting themselves at any risk at all. Uh, unless, of course, uh, like me, it's a groundbreaking... Journey. Ich glaube, wir sollten eigentlich rausgehen, auch wenn wir hier komische Sachen just, sehen. Are you, Patrick? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the street, on the street. Which street? Uh, I'm, um, uh, I think I'm, I'm struggling to hear you, actually, uh, Jeremy, there. Which street? Which street are you on? Oh, which, which street am I on? Ah, ich kann da leider nicht immer reinzoomen. Ich meine, das wird ein... Bannon Avenue. Bannon Avenue? Yep. Bannon Avenue. Yeah, no, I can hear you fine. Yep, I'm on Bannon Avenue on the sign. It says there. Like Patrick Bannon. Oh yeah, that's a uh, that's that is like that's strange. That's a weird oh. sign. I don't know what's going on there. Where <laughs> are you really? I'm on Bannon. Um... All right, fine. I'm not on Bannon Avenue. I'm on. I'm at home. To be honest. I'm... All right, fine. Well, I mean, I'm in my bathroom technically, but you know, like, I couldn't <laughs> that, to be honest, mate. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's terrible out there. I don't want to go outside. They're everywhere. I'm sorry for lying. We don't expect any less of you, Patrick. Can you hear that sound? What the hell's that? I can, yes. Uh, I'm no expert, Patrick, but it sounds unmistakably like a, a tiny fist tapping on your door there. Oh, fuck, it does. Oh, fuck, Jeremy, shit, no! Oh, bollocks, right. Perhaps there's a uh. small queue of tiny fists, each wielding a different gender to household implement. Ready to right bash now. in the heads of lying little roving reporters. So you're lying, aren't you? Oh shit, fucking, okay, fucking, listen, listen to me, listen to me, you bastards. If you're out there, just to piss off, you little fucking snuggle fucks. I'm too talented to die. Oh, what the? Uh, wenn wir das jetzt auch noch gleich sehen. Okay, okay it's fine. It's fine. Oh god. Oh god. What's the... Don't worry, oh, Patrick. Uh, I'd say you've got a few seconds before they break their way in there and finish you off. Oh. 
Ich will es eigentlich gar nicht zensieren. What do you see, Patrick? Oh, wow, der ist tatsächlich animiert. <lacht> Thank you, Patrick, for that report. Showing the nation. Okay. Management. She doesn't know you belong. It's time for another break, but uh, when we come back, we'll be only to take your mind off the world for a little while. And who knows? Maybe even bring you a few smiles. Join us. After this. You're damn right. Yeah, I had them delivered. Yes. It's a Bannon Avenue. What the fuck? Und wie schlage ich den, wenn der dann kommt? Was zum... Okay, das ist einfach nur die Werbung. Aber ich sehe jetzt gar nichts, wo... Irgendwie wo... Wow! Oh, shit! Er ist wirklich hier drin? Alter, wird das jetzt hier noch zum Horrorspiel? Ach, Mann! Welcome back to the National Nightly. Well, welcome back anyway. We know isolation isn't easy, so finally tonight we have something a bit different for you. Even though some people have heard it's not our job to entertain the public with absolute nonsense, other more important people overruled those people. So it's time to find out who will National Nightly win and who will National Nightly lose. Fuck off, Jenny! Scheiße, das war jetzt so dumm. So, how do we play? Well, Hä? It's Tommy Harris. Hallo, Tommy. Scheiße, ich doch. Alright, Johnny. It's uh, here. And uh, how are you finding the lockdown, Tommy? Ja, ich glaube, ich... The enforced isolation of everyone in the country. Ah, yeah. I think I heard about that, actually, yeah. You're in bed, Tommy. Yeah, you called during that time, so... Of course, that's my fault. So, um, why don't you tell us how the game is played? Well, it's pretty simple, Jeremy, you sausage. I'm gonna ask contestants from around the territory three questions about what else? Yours truly. And those people are gonna get a chance to win a very special prize. And what are they playing for, Tommy? Drum roll, please. Jeremy. Oh. Thank you. Wow. <lacht> Was ist das? What is that? It's my athletic support, Jeremy. Oh. But I've signed it, so. Oh, well then. What a fantastic prize. Have we got anybody waiting to win this once in a lifetime prize, Jerry and Jimmy? I believe we have Angie on the line. Um, how do you feel about winning this man's old pants, Angie? I've never been so excited, Jeremy. And can I just say? I love you. Both of you. Well, you've said okay. it now, haven't you? Oh, Angie, I love you. In a way. Tell us about yourself, Angie. Well, what can I say? Uh, my name is Angie. <laughs> Always has been. Um, I'm a human woman. And my dental hygiene has been described as acceptable. Brilliant! Right, well, shall we get this shambles on the way? Absolutely, John. Can I get 30 seconds on the clock, please? We haven't got a clock. Yeah, I did ask for a clock. So, well, um, why don't you yeah. start, and I'll stop you when it inevitably becomes unbearable to watch. I love it. All right, here we go. Time starts no, 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 now. Question one. When is my birthday? The 13th of August at 7.19 a.m. That is absolutely correct. Question two. What? I said, what is my favourite Color. Crushed praline four. 
correct the colour of my nipples. And finally, <laughs> what? what is my star sign? That's a trick question. You were born outside of the human understanding of the cosmos. Unbelievable. That is correct. Stop the clock. Wow, that really was tough to watch. How did you do, Johnny? Well, Angie, my love, you got every single question right. Which, of course, means you lose and win absolutely nothing. Thanks for playing, Angie. Eh? Why? Do we have another contestant on the line? No! At Jelly Bean? We do indeed. We should have Sonia Hartleach. Are you there, Sonia? <laughs> of course I am, Jamie, darling. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Sonia. Ah, ich bin so in Versuchung, den mal auf mich zukommen zu lassen, aber dann, weil ich alle das nochmal machen müssen. It certainly wasn't your inherent sense of humility. Tell us about yourself, Sonia. Oh, well, if you must play this game, I am a theatrical agent. I represent the likes of Rudy Beefman, Samuel Coffeecup... Was gibt es in der ganzen 10 Minuten des Quiz? And how has the lockdown affected you, Sonia? Well, they may have closed the theatres, shut the studios and boarded the cinemas, but they won't get... Okay, wisst ihr was? Wir machen das jetzt mal. Ich merke mal jetzt einfach bei 10, 17. Wenn man jetzt mich dann rausschmeißt, dann mache ich einfach einen Cut auf der Stelle. Ah, machst du was? Naja, macht gar nichts. Das ist wirklich scharf. Standard Stuff. Und kann ich fragen, wo bist du uns aus uns sprechen? Well, ich arbeite von Hause, you know, um die Kosten zu halten. Und wer ist das? Oh, well. You know, when they gave the order, I was actually mid-meeting with a client, so we've been isolated together. Ich glaube, ich kann den jetzt wirklich no ignorieren. Fucking way! What the fucking fuck? Is that Tommy Harris? I'm a huge fan. Can I just tell you how bloody brilliant you are? Actually, Jeff, we're about to play a game, aren't no, no, we, no. Tommy? We've got time, we've got time. Well, if it's not too bold, I think I am in love with you, Mr. Harris. No, no it's not too bold. That's all right, don't just, worry. Hey, I, I'd love to show you some of my stuff. I've been working on some new shit. Well, at least you're already aware. During lockdown, uh, we've been workshopping some of Jeff's ideas for much younger children, haven't we? People still let you know their children, do they? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I've been developing uh, some shows for younger children. Hm. Well, we'd love to see it, wouldn't we, Gerbil? Absolutely dying to. <laughs> right, so, what do kids love? Uh, it's like? Totally just put payments from their absent fathers. Shallow and overproduced musical numbers? That's right. Animals! So, I'm trying uh, to yeah. the things that kids need to know, but through a medium that they'll understand. Do you understand? No. I think, yes. I think so, yes. Jeff's one of my best clients, aren't you? I am. Yeah, yeah. So, the first one we've been working on is called The King of the Jungle's Mortgage Repayments. It's about a lion who's having problems with his <gasps> interest <gasps> What? What? I see. Does he have a broker? Uh, he does. Yes, yes. He's a porcupine. Uh, how did you know that? Well, your work is universal, darling. Oh. It speaks oh. to people. <laughs> I'm going to say something to you, mate. I think you're onto something here. Yeah? Oh, the bear, the bear. Oh, you yes, bear. yes, yes, yes. Right. <clears throat> this one is much better. So, this one tells the tale of Mr. Bear. Now, Mr. Bear is a very sad bear because all of the other bears don't think that it'll amount to much and they tell him that his plays are lazy and derivative. I think you're under something there. Now, Mr. Bear is a tragic figure. Picture this. He's at his lowest ebb. The trees are closing in. He can't even face his salmon, can he? But then he meets someone that will change his life forever. This is fucking gripping that's right he ich muss mal sowas von dem doku anschauen von dem octopus who takes him under his wing and says aber rein sch schauspielerisch muss ich sagen wirklich gut gemacht also im sinne von es passt so gut hier rein ambition and these dreams such fucking dreams i think i love you jeff 
Was passiert eigentlich, wenn es hier aufs Letzte runtergeht? It's called Mr. Bear lowers his expectations. You really have to take yourself to new depths. Oh, it's a good children to take away from this. Oh, fuck shit, shit, fuck. What? I said a more realistic worldview. Are you all right, Jamboree? It's Jeffrey. My name is Jeffrey Donington. Uh, no, stop. How does it end? We need to know how it ends. Well. All the animals learn a thing or two about inevitable mediocrity. Yeah, and Mr. Bear settles down near to his parents' cave, stops trying to make his band happen, and he goes into telemarketing. And becomes a bear maths teacher. Oh, and we end... Oh, 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 we end on a big musical number. Oh, there's dancing. Uh, oh, nein, bitte zeig das aber nicht. So it's catchy, but not too challenging. Ja, sind jetzt um, zwei. If you like, I could go and get my boom box. Yeah. Uh, you know, nein, uh, bitte nicht. Uh, can we get Angie back? Why not? The more the merrier, as they say at orgies. Oh, nein. Oh, nein, bitte nicht. Right, I'll just fill then, shall I? Coming up in a moment, it's the world premiere that nobody saw coming. Lie or wanted. Oh, uh, what the? What's right. some? I apologize in advance for what we're all about to endure. Can you turn this shitting thing off? Ah. <laughs> well, there's all sorts of creatures down on Dangly Doodle Farm. Like why don't Mr. Octopus wait too many hours? There's Mr. Pig. And Mr. Cow, they're always in good mood. But that's called they <laughs> so they'll <laughs> sliced up into food. Oh no, no, no. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your hopes go to turn into despair. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your dreams go to die. Mr. Raccoon, who wants to go to the moon? He'll end up as a bus driver soon. Mr. Porcupine thinks you'll read the news at nine. He'll end up as a janitor who stinks of purple time. Mr. Tiny Mouse uh -huh. thought he'd own a massive house. Ended up in a bedsit where he can't control the louse. Mr. Horse thought he'd go into professional sports. Now he's an alcoholic and he's on his third divorce. <laughs> Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's the place your life becomes an endless questionnaire. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your hopes go to die. Ich frage mich, ob man da ganz zum Schluss immer durchgespielt hat, in den, also ich rede das jetzt mal mit dem Rhythmus, äh, da irgendwie so äh, Takeouts irgendwie sehen kann. The best you'll get is middle rank in trading operations. So lower your expectations. You'll never win an Oscar. So no congratulations. The future that is coming will not meet specifications. And no amount of visualization will save you from your own deterioration. Ah, schade. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's a Trump who thought he'd be a multimillionaire. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where self-esteem goes to die. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's the disappointment that is waiting everywhere. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your dreams go to die. That's where your dreams go to die. Oh, Gott sei Dank. That's where dreams go to die. Ja, was sowas von. Well, I'm sure we'll all still be singing that tomorrow morning. That's it from us for tonight. Many thanks to all our guests. I look forward to seeing them all again. Eventually.
Yes. But before we go, Alex, I wondered if I might have a word. You see, I've had my eye on you, friend, and I've got to say I'm not liking what I'm seeing. Keep letting me down, chum. Playing it safe. Making the dull, boring choices. Failing to assert yourself. No one likes a pushover, Alex. You know that. And frankly, chum, you're acting like a bit of a wimp. Alex, will you give away your passport so my super rich sibling can abandon us all? Sure. Here it is. Pathetic. Can I have the money we need for food so I can go around the continent on a jolly? Sure, Susie. We can always eat your grandma when we run out of food. Wouldn't it have felt better to take charge? Aren't you tempted to just lay down the law? You know what's hot, Alex? Other than me, obviously. Confidence. Power. Control. We're all drawn to it, like rats to the piper. Don't you care where your son goes at night? You will when you find out. Look far bit from me to try and lead you down the dark pathway, although sort of is my whole raison d'etre. But imagine, just for a moment, that none of this was real. Is this auch nicht? It was just also some stupid game where you could just do it all over again if it all went wrong. Imagine if Sam and Charlie and Susie were just characters. Wow. Think of all the fun you could have. Just being bad, you know. For the hell of it. My name's Megan Wolf. Have an evil night. Ugh. Jen? I'm just gonna go smoke. Cooles outro. Okay, can you get home and then the phone? Like, I this is a dream. A bad trip or a shock-induced coma. I did not sign up to be dressed like a slag, doshing out wrists for a 20. Und sie ist wieder normal. Aber ja, also sie hat ja eigentlich schon recht. Wir könnten natürlich Bogen. voll badass sein, weil wir können es ja noch mal probieren. Aber ich versuche erstmal eher ein bisschen neutral mit ein bisschen mehr auf Richtung. Gut. Hä? Hä? Uh, um, okay. Den jetzt alle. Warum? Oh, nee. Cool. Alles A. <lacht> Errungenschaft, Fancy Work und. Ah, shit, das letzte war zu schnell weg. Dazu natürlich gar nichts getan. Außer der Kanal liebt mich natürlich. Ah, was eine verrückte Folge. Die Kuscheltiere, die uns angreifen. Aber so cool, dass sie das da mit dem Homeoffice aufgegriffen haben. Ich meine, das Spiel kam ja Anfang des Jahres raus. Und dass sie da so eine kleine Hommage für das da machen, cool. Und wie die Leute da durchtreten. Und der Song, auch wenn der Text total banane war, hat schon irgendwie einen guten Rhythmus gehabt. Hat mir gefallen. Ich hoffe euch auch und wir sehen uns dann in der nächsten Episode. Ciao. Ja, liebe Leute, das ist leider das Ende von dem Video. Wie immer würde ich mich freuen, wenn ihr natürlich hier unten Kommentare reinschreibt, wie ihr es gefunden habt. Aktuelles zum Spiel findet ihr hier in dieser Playlist. Ansonsten der neueste Upload hier oben. Und wer möchte, kommt auch auf unseren Discord-Server. Link ist da rechts oben. Gibt auch immer wieder gratis Spiele und da könnt ihr auch mit mir quatschen und natürlich der Community. Ansonsten lasst ein Abo da und äh, dann verpasst ihr keinen Upload mehr. Bis denn dann, euer Bucher. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.